Hi guys, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel, Honestly Invisibly Sick. And today's video is going to be my thrift store haul video and I'm so excited. I don't know why I kept pushing it off. I was going to push it off till next Monday, but October's over. Oh, it's almost over and I'm not really going to have any more time this week to go to a thrift store anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just do my thrift store haul. I really hope you guys like this because I, like I said, I love going to... Um, going to thrift stores and picking little things up and it ha actually happened at a really good time because I kind of lost a little bit of weight so I'm needing to buy to purchase the next size down and I just wanted to get a few different pieces for fall I'm always on the lookout for tops and now I have to start looking for jeans so hopefully I'll find some jeans next month but let's just get into it um, this is the first piece that I wanted to show you guys is this shirt. It's from Talbot's. It's very uh, soft. It's kind of a little bit see-through. It's really sheer. It's perfect for where I live. I live in the south and we don't really have a fall. I just have this uh, sweater on with it to show you how it would pair it if it was cold outside, which we don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> so right now it's pretty warm here. But it is sleeveless. It has a small sleeve here. I paired it with this sweater. This sweater was actually given to me. I didn't purchase this sweater. It was given to me from a friend. I think it's um, Faded Glory, but it's just a nice ch oversized chunky knit sweater. I want to give you guys a disclaimer. I dressed um, a lot more modest. I dressed a lot mo more modest than the average person. I still wear jeans. Um, I don't really wear sh I don't really wear shorts. I do wear exercise pants uh, whenever I go out if I if it's hot outside. But I just try to make sure that whatever I'm wearing covers my um, butt area. I'm real um, picky picky about that. I do wear um, a lot of long skirts, not because I think that I have to just because they're really comfortable, especially the fabrics that you can get them in, like sweatpants. It's just like wearing sweatpants. They're so super comfortable. That's a lot of where I wear, what I wear to church. Every now and then I'll wear um, like some gaucho pants. So I'll be showing you guys a lot of outfits like that. So this is the shirt. Like I said, it's really sheer. Uh, pardon the gray shirt I have underneath it. I couldn't find my white one. I think I wore it to church on Sunday. <laughs> But yeah, it's really sheer, it's perfect, it's not going to add any extra bulk, it's not going to make you sweat a whole bunch, especially down here in the south, like it, you can wear it with a, a thick jacket or a thin um, cardigan and not have to worry about it. Okay, so that's the first look. And the pants that I have on, let me see if I can step back a little bit, excuse my little dog, if she's in the way, um, I got these. I want to say last year they're Lane Bryant, but I picked them up from a thrift store. I think I got them for like a dollar fifty. Uh, the price on this shirt I think was somewhere around a dollar. But I picked it up from the thrift store. I have a favorite thrift store, and they, I think, are gonna let me do like a, a shop with me, which I would really love to do for you guys. I don't know if it'll benefit you if you don't live uh, where I live at, but I really, really, really love shopping at that thrift store. Okay, so that's look one. This is look two. I have on the same uh, jeans that I had on a while ago. Most of what I do today is going to be um, in the same pair of jeans. This is by Liz Claiborne. It's not really fall, but I like, um, for my fall and winter, I like a little pop of color, especially when you're wearing, I wear a lot of grays and blacks, and it just gives it a little bit of a pop of color and I'll show you guys how I would normally wear this because I wouldn't wear this with pants without something covering up and again this is just like lightweight this is why I picked it up it's not going to be hot it's not going to add any, any bulk it doesn't really do anything as far as cinching uh, my waist or anything so that's what this will do I put it on I, if I would have known my feet would have showed I would have put my boots on I didn't put my boots on this time either because I already showed you guys the jeans but I have a cute pair of gray boots that I would pair this with. And this is the shirt. You can see again, it just covers this area and I don't have to worry about it. 
I love this sweater. It's super soft. The sweater I got from, I think I got it from Bell's Outlet for like ten dollars, and I probably got fifteen percent off of that because I try to find it on find things on Fridays that I really like, and I know that I can get my fifteen percent off. But yeah, it's just like a pop of color. It'll look really cute with the gray boots, and I won't have to worry about won't have to worry about anything. I like the baby doll shirts. I don't typically wear a lot of them. Well, I have I have a few. But I like the baby doll shirts because they kind of hide everything, and you don't really have to worry. But you just have to be careful. Like I would, I've got this on because it kind of pulls in on the sides, which is what you want because you don't want it adding extra bulk. So I like the silhouette on this. Kind of creates a little bit of a waistline there instead of making you look so square. Because sometimes, especially with me, I have a, like an hourglass shape, and I can wind up looking boxy if I'm not careful. On to the next look. Okay, this is look number three. And I want to say along the lines of the modesty, um, everybody has their own convictions. And I just feel very convicted about not having my um, back area covered. And I also feel very convicted if I wear something that doesn't come really close to past my knees. And I have a lot of psoriasis on my legs anyway, so that's a lot of reason why I wear longer things. I do wear like uh, capris. I'll wear something that covers or shows my ankles, um, but just not not very often. It has to be hot, and that's the only reason I do that. So I wanted to let you guys know that that's why I do that. And a lot of my shirts, if you'll notice, will be three quarter sleeve. I do wear short sleeves just it's rare it's a rare occasion but I do wear them I think I've videoed it some a lot of my short sleeves because whenever I wear my cardigans it kind of adds a little extra bulk this is a Kim Rogers it's not again not really following the tr traditional fall colors I'll probably wear this on into winter I could not imagine living in the south and wearing this in the spring and have to still be cold because this is very thick very very nice very soft against the skin um, doesn't cover my back area as I would like but I would pair this with again a cardigan or a longer jacket I actually have a jacket I'm going to pair it with for you guys it's probably not the shirt that I would wear with this jacket I would like something that would cover a little bit better can you guys can you guys see my dog <laughs> Robbie <laughs> she's so cute okay this is by Morona. I buy a lot of their stuff. I love the way it fits. They're all about comfort, and I love that. I pick up a lot of things by them. Um, I think the kind of get that we live down here in the south, this jacket is a corduroy-ish. It's not. It just has that feel to it, like it's corduroy, but it's not. I like the detail in the back where it kind of flares out a little bit at the bottom instead of just trying to do that boxy look as I told you guys I have to be really careful I also like about this that I already have big shoulders anyway so this doesn't really add any bulk if you notice a lot of the um, <laughs> my dog is playing if you notice a lot of the jackets have like both your shoulders because most people need that I don't so I'm happy that it doesn't have uh, a lot of bulk to the shoulders and I like that it, I like the silhouette of it. If you look, it kind of tapers in a little bit at where your waistline would be. So it kind of defines it a little bit better. I wouldn't wear this um, buttoned. I like it unbuttoned. And I'm always looking for jackets that look really good. This is like super stretchy fabric though. It could do it. I, what I don't like about jackets like this is that they taper here kind of away. So... For me, because I have um, a little bit bigger up top, it doesn't really it doesn't really look right. So I like to wear them open. I would probably pair this with a skirt, a long skirt. But I really love this jacket. Like I said, it's really lightweight and it's just super stretchy, super soft. I love it. Okay, on to the next look. Okay, this is like a super casual athletic jacket 
This is by Athletic Tech. I'm not really sure about that brand. Let me zip it up. It's a little big. Um, I probably could have went with a large um, in this jacket because it's like super, <laughs> it's super big. This is an extra large. Um, again, I'd probably pair it with something that would come down a little bit further, like a longer shirt that the tail would kind of stick out the back. Probably wouldn't wear this with jeans. This is more for like my exercise pants. I'd probably wear it with some of my exercise pants or um, uh, yoga pants. It's probably what it's going to be paired with or just some cute sweatpants. Black, black or gray sweatpants. I just loved it. I like the, I like the little zebra detail. As you guys know, for fall, uh, animal prints are really in. Cheetah's really big. I bought my daughter a cheetah dress I found from, um, from the thrift store, but I can't find it. I think I got it for like a dollar fifty, and it's really super cute and super soft. But again, I can't find it. I don't know what she did with it. So I would love to show you that. I'm going to show you guys what I, some of the things that I got her, but she's not going to try them on. I'm just going to show it. This thing is super soft, super stretchy, super breathable. Like if you want to go exercising in this, on a regular walking, this would be perfect. And it just kind of hides everything. But again, I think this is a little too, it's a little too big, but I'm going to keep it because I like extra room. I don't like tight clothes. So. I'm definitely going to hang on to it. You can tell from my jeans, I like everything to have as much fabric popping off of it as possibly can because I have fibromyalgia and I just cannot stand anything to um, touch my skin. So you'll see that there's a, there's a theme with my clothes. Everything is stretchy. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next look. This is the next look. I have that same blazer on again. Um, I picked up this dress. The reason I have the blazer is because it's a little bulky. I think it's actually a little bit too big on the sides. It has like a lot of extra bulk, so I wouldn't wear it without something to kind of taper it in a little bit, as this jacket does, especially in the back. It really tapers it in. I have to be very careful that I don't look boxy, which is what this would definitely make me do without the jacket on. As you can see, it's just like really, really bulky here. There's no defined waist. So it would just make my body shape, since I'm already short, look really, really bulky. I paired it with a pair of brown boots. These are the boots that I would pair with um, the first outfit I had on. These boots I got um, from Charlotte Roos. I want to say about three or four years ago and I have just held on to them because it's not a little dog, um, because they are so uh, just comfortable and as I said I have trouble wearing shoes so they're just really wide they're kind of like um, just flat there's no real um, definition to the side of them or anything but they're it's really wide on the inside so I don't have to worry about anything touching my toes so that's really nice. I have to wear some kind of something, which really is hard to do in the winter time to wear shirts or shoes that are closed in because of my joints are so bad, but I have to find things that are wide that I can cover them up because if I do not cover up the, my joints from the cold, they get extremely, extremely uh, painful and they just throb and even the air conditioner. If I go in somewhere and the air conditioner is super um, cold, and I have, um, and I have open toed shoes on, the air conditioner will get to my feet and it will cause them to hurt and throb. Okay, there's that look. I don't remember what the name is on this dress. I'll look and I'll tell you guys when I come back and we'll move on to the next look. Okay, this is my last look. Pardon that dress. Um, sorry, no, pardon my hair because it's getting a mess with switching out, out of all these clothes. Um, the last dress, the name of it was Takura, and it's it's a little bit big. I don't normally wear that size. It's like one size up from what I normally wear, but I thought maybe I could belt it or something and kind of pull it in a little bit. So I may try that with it before I get rid of it. Um, this 
I'm actually showing off this cover up and the brand of it is, hold on. Oh, this is a Calvin Klein. This is a Calvin Klein. I really like it. I like where it hits, um, especially with this dress, it kind of, um, I think helps define your waist a little bit. It also covers up the extra bulk that we get in the back when you are a little bit heavier. Um, this dress is by Lularu. And it's super soft, it's super comfortable. It is not a dress for um, summertime. <laughs> so it's definitely not a summertime dress. Um, and I paired this belt with it just to kind of give it a little bit more of a defined waist. It naturally goes in already, but I don't like the way that the seams go together. It really stands out, it's kind of bulky. But again, this goes to the floor. This would probably be something that this is going to be something that I'll wear um, in the winter time or if we do actually get a cold snap in the fall but I just really love 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 this dress and I love I like this cover-up I'm always on the, uh, the lookout for more cover-ups that um, are kind of unique and different and that don't add bulk to the shoulder as this one doesn't it's so hard to find some or find a cover-up or a cardigan that does not add bulk or a blazer that does not add bulk to your shoulders and I have to really worry about that so this is it I hope you guys like it oh I'm going to show you um the clothes that I got for my my daughter but I really hope you like this I wanted to not only just stand in front or hold the clothes up in front of the camera I really wanted to show you guys how I would implement it because if you're not going to wear it sorry the sun just came through super bright if you're not going to figure out how you're going to wear it when you get it, when you're looking at it in the store, you probably shouldn't buy it because if you buy it with not knowing what you're going to pair it with, then it's just probably going to sit in your closet. I've done that. I'm guilty of it. And I'm trying to get out of that because I don't want to keep adding clothes to my closet that I'm not wearing. I'm actually going through and editing my closet, which I do quite a few times a year. I go through and I edit it and I take out what I know I haven't used or that I bought, things that I bought like I'm telling you <laughs> that I thought I was going to wear and then once I put it in my closet I just don't find that I'm reaching for it anymore or I might have wore it once or twice and then I just never really wore it anymore and I'm just trying to get out of that. I want um, outfits in my closet that I'm really going to want to wear all the time. So that's what I'm trying to do with the glare on my glasses is horrible because the sun just like comes really bright through the window. What I want to do, and I, like I said, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the try-ons. I also go to um, Bell's Outlet, as I mentioned. I go there sometimes, not too much. I'm kind of sticking with the thrift store, the thrift stores right now because I'm trying to be as frugal as I can. And I wanted to show you guys the couch. I'm going to show, put a picture in the video to show you guys my couch and kind of how I have the wall set up. The wall was kind of set up before the couch came. I always knew when we moved here I wanted a specific look for my living room and I just never could quite find the right couches or if I found the right couches they would... sorry my eyes watering. Um, I've tried purchasing several of them um, from like a furniture store and I'm finding that a lot of them don't hold up and I was lucky the last time that I did that they took them back I know it just it was just like running them because I really didn't the couches started tearing up and I really didn't like it and I was like I'm not gonna be stuck with this for like five years and I'm not gonna like it so then I just said I'm gonna try to find something from the thrift store and the last couch that I had it was a reclining couch it had recliners on both ends and the recliner broke so I finally got rid of it it was it had been broke for a while and we were just kind of dealing with it so I got rid of it and I still have the couch that I had that I purchased from a thrift store um, over here. It's kind of a tan camel color and it doesn't really, I don't think it really goes in here. So I'm probably going to get rid of that. I don't like my furniture and I'm finding this out. You know, you normally buy furniture and it comes with like the matching um, living room sets. And I'm just finding that I, I really don't like that. I'd rather just put it together myself because 
you can add a lot more interest to a room if you bring in different pieces and different textures and different colors and yeah I'm just really finding that where I am in my life I just like doing that I like putting a room together and not having it already done for you so that's where I'm at and I hope you guys like the couch and again I'm going to show you what the living room looks like finished let me go grab the pieces that I bought for my daughter and I'll be right back so I can show them to you okay this is by uh, Morona, and it's a large. It's not a thick sweater. We try not to get anything that's super thick down here. Um, you have your sweaters that you'll wear when it's really cold, but this is just a really thin sweater. I like it because it's long. It's going to cover up in the back if she wears it with a pair of skinny jeans, which she probably will. She's really into skinny jeans. And so, yeah, it'll just cover her up in the back she won't have to worry about that and I also think it looks really cute together the shirt the shirt is by Bos let me say it right Bosolo and it's like super soft it's a really good color for that does look cute together a really good color for fall I think she's really gonna like it um, it's soft it's lightweight so it's another good layering piece I'm going to show you guys this I got this I didn't technically get this this month I got it last month but it's very it's, it's worth mentioning this is it's by vis a -vis. not the vis a -vis, um, the Korean clothing line this is by um, it's a company out of um, Italy and they sell handbags um, this is Italian leather it's super soft and buttery I love it um, I picked this up at a thrift store for I think $12 and it's super luxe. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, um, don't forget to subscribe and if you need any support, you're going through anything with your autoimmune diseases, just comment down below. I'll be happy to comment back and give you some support or if you need prayer for anything, just put it down below. I'm very, very, very um, big into my faith. That's why I, I dress kind of modestly. And I have a, another video that's going to be coming up about, you know, just how I get through things. And I think that'll be next Monday's video. Well, no, next Monday is going to be, we're going on a fishing trip um, this weekend for my husband's birthday. So I'm going to try to get some footage of that. So it may be like a mesh up. It depends on how much footage I get because we're going to be out there. Um, fishing for a long time and I'm also going to give you guys tips and tricks on how to be in the sun because this is like an eight hour fishing trip out on a boat so it does have like a cover where I can go to and I can kind of cover up a little bit but we'll get into that in that video and I'll show you guys some tips and tricks on how to do it I'm not going to give up fishing I had a really long conversation with my rheumatologist about that and she just told me things that I can do to be out in the sun or kind of block it a little bit obviously she probably wouldn't be happy with eight hours but it's not going to be eight straight hours because I have they have like a the boat has a middle and you can go in and sit down and relax so we'll see how that goes and hopefully I get some really good uh, footage for you guys especially of the trip out there I, that's my favorite part about going fishing is the trip out and the trip back in because you get to see all the wildlife and the dolphins and hopefully we see some of them kind of talk it up and watch there not be any but you just get to see a lot of different things that you don't normally get to see all right thank you guys so much and don't forget to check out my facebook it's at honestly invisibly sick i gotta start posting more to my facebook I, I have more followers on facebook than what i do on youtube so i really need to start um, paying attention to that and kind of do it a little bit more with it if i could get um enough people interested I probably would go live on Facebook because there's a lot of stuff that um, we could do like a Q&A you guys could ask me questions and things like that so look forward to that coming up I'm probably going to do that here in the near future I just I'm going to put it out there and see if I get some kind of interest in it and I think that's it thank you guys so much and just have a blessed day